The pieces I write may not mean nothing to y'all, but I don't think you would believe some of the things that have been said or been done to me. Now, I'm not going to stop it for y'all. My attitude is like whatever. I rock the mic at every show that I go, but I see that every show not the one for me. So I'm not going to stop it at all. My attitude is like whatever. My name is Jay, dash the T. You It's apparent, you're transparent, your motives are so see-through. Every time I see you, I get a bad feeling. Like I'm the rising star and you're like my glass ceiling. Because everybody wanted me to be like their apprentice. Because I got my own mind and I mind my own business. I got a style that will open up the doors but they will never gain admittance. My name is King James from now on, they could be my witness. People talking about toe to toe, but they don't never toe the line. I got my own show and a flow. I'm starting a clothing line. NGC, I can see. Why poets can't stand us? Keep writing about me and I don't believe you got a poetic man crush. <laughs> see, I knew that this would happen, which is why I make decisions that's cold and without passion. NGC sweep up bad boys like Jordan did the Pistons. My talent is unique. You host or promote because yours just really isn't. My earth filament is fire, my birthstone is diamond, so I can stand the heat and the pressure and keep shining. How you gonna start bumping heads with a ram and then start bitching when you get hurt by the ram horns? I don't ever complain about all these cheerleaders you got sitting in the crowd. I just wonder why they never bring their skirts or their pom-poms. People was all happy because I was on a hiatus. I see them people frowning now. Hi-haters from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. I can never do this without you. Because I can only make the joke, but you make the joke come true. So if there's a dozen of you now, I hope... If there's a dozen of you now, I hope you go find five dozen more before the summer. You know why I love the way poets sleep on me and my style? Anybody know why? Why? Because it make them easier to smother. No, we wasn't talking about you, J2. Yeah, run that bullshit on some other. New rule. Anybody who can't say true kind words to me cannot claim to be my sister or my brother. You can't compliment the poem I wrote about my mother, which was coming from my heart. If you're not seeking professional psychiatric attention for your negativity or control issues, I have some referrals. You really need to start. Because bless your snobbish little heart, you've got it backwards. You think everybody got to be passive with their words, and they got to come to an open mic. Open mic and get on stage and beg and ask you for the respect that we deserve. Get a grip, get a life. And while you at it, you need to learn how to act when you're talking to grown people because your words are like weapons of mass disrespect and I'm gonna start calling your little clique the absence of ego. Everybody, see, everybody wants you to go to their workshop so you can be a better writer. Wait a second, you want me to regurgitate what you spit so I can end up sounding like you and everybody else? Hmm, that must be why people say y'all sound the same because in the real world, we would call this a biter. I guess it's why these poets turn white like Casper. I come through and spit the fire, which makes sense now because I heard for your little response piece you needed about four or five ghostwriters. Oh, nice. and, and, and I don't even write this stuff down so I could do this blindfold but hitting targets I'm not even trying to hit because in terms of arrogance I've never seen such a target rich environment I speak in flames I test your metal bypass the puppets in the game I'll take an aim at your pedal so for all these puppets there's no reason for me to be dissing you the truth is most of the time when you start spitting that cookie cutter poetry I don't even listen to you keep swarming like locusts I'm gonna be focused if you're the secretary of state then I'm like the POTUS you get it right, P.O.T.U.S. President of the United States. Yeah, I'm a new guy, real popular, well-spoken, and pretty ethnic. You got a lot of hate. Plus, some people only make it to certain positions because of the people they're screwing with. But just like Hillary, when the day comes to run for themselves, nobody's really going to believe that they can do that shit. You tell people that host is too negative. They front like they don't know. Even though these same people are afraid to perform, and perform in front of the people at their own show. And it's amazing how some people forget how much I supported them. I wasn't going to say anything about certain people, but I'm no longer ignoring them because they want some real stab in the back stuff. Like Caesar and Brutus. Like Jesus and Judas. The way I'm being crucified. Wasn't even nobody talking about this other dude, but he still felt he had to choose a side because he's a legendary poet. He wrote 30 poems in one Day. If you took all them poems and added in two dollars and twenty-five cents, I'd get you on the subway so you could get on a train, go to another open mic, recruit more open mic acts so they could come to your workshop so you could teach them how to write poems that nobody really likes. You can't. People want to diss me. People, people want to diss me. They can't memorize their poems. They can't flow them. I consider these factors. They can't sing. They can't rap. They can't act. So they become a poet because they don't have enough talent to be a singer, rapper, or actor. I warned them a million times. My poems have more sharp points than a cactus. I'm going to say what I really want from this point forward since they already put me on a little blacklist. I'm sick, I'm sick of all these revolution ain't going to be televised news. What a rage with the blacklist. I guarantee you if a revolution started outside, some of these poets wouldn't do jack shit. I told him I have no issue with them. He talking about how I look up to them. Talking about what he to teach me. Talking about how his competition is missing. Fact non-existent. But he don't want to slam against me because he know he can't beat me. So the strategy's foolproof. Works every time. All I gotta do is start challenging people. They start tap dancing like they Gregory Himes. You dance for it. You dance for it. When it comes time to slam, most these poets know that they don't got no chance, boy. Freeze. Pose. Taking shots at these dudes is easier than making free throws.